welcome back to week 14 of Small Nations. It is so cool to see you here from wherever you're watching from. Shall we check out our Small Nations map to see what new pins we've added this week for some awesome families watching at home? Okay, so first up we're adding a pin for an amazing family in Cambridge. So welcome if you're watching from Cambridge. Next up, we are adding a pin in Berlin, in Germany, in Spain, that's really cool, Barbados, amazing, India, and even the other side of the world, New Zealand. So welcome from wherever you're watching, in the UK or around the world. Okay. This week is our last week of the Armour of God series. We are going to be looking at the Shoes of Peace and we're going to hear more from the team about that later. But don't worry, this isn't the end. We've got some exciting news for you about what's to come this summer. So stay tuned right to the end to find out more. And parents, remember this is the last week for your feedback on the survey. You can find it on the website here and it will take less than two minutes and we'd just love to hear your thoughts about what we've done so far so we can do the next season even better. Alright guys, before we learn more about the Shoes of Peace, shall we play a game? Okay, this week's big game is all about memory and it's all about shoes. Because this week we're learning about the shoes of peace. And to play this game, you'll need a pen and a piece of paper. The aim of the game is to remember as many of these different types of shoe as possible. You'll get a point for each one you remember. But you'll only have 30 seconds to do it in. So let us know how many points you've scored and who wins in your house? All right, shall we go through them one by one to help us remember them? Okay, here we go. Where shall we start? Hmm, what about over here? This one's a green garden shoe. Hopefully you can remember that one. And we've got a big welly. That should be easy to remember. We've also got a fancy flip-flop. Flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. We've got a pump, a stripy pump. You can remember that. So we've got a green shoe, a big welly, a fancy flip flop, and a stripy pump. Next up, we've got a trendy trainer. We've got some fluffy slippers. Look at those. And a high heeled pair of summer shoes. There we go. Right, a few left to go through. Oh, this one's a good one. This is a fin for scuba diving or snorkeling. So make sure you remember that one. We've also got a winter boot here. And another type of boot, a horse riding boot here. So we've got a horse riding boot, winter boot, a fin for scuba diving. And we have a wet shoe. And did you know, in New Zealand, they call these beach feet. How funny is that? Because you wear them to the beach. All right, do you think you can remember all of those? Okay, get your pen at the ready and have one last look at all of these different types of shoes. And the screen is gonna go blank in a minute and you're gonna have 30 seconds to write down as many as you can. Or if you can't write them down, tell a grown up. Are you ready? Steady. Okay, have you finished writing down your answers? How many do you think you got? 
Shall we go through them to see if you've remembered them? Okay, so first up was a green garden shoe. Then we had, what was next? Oh, was it this boot? A riding boot. And if you've got a welly, well done, if you remember the welly. We also had a stripy pump. Well done if you remembered the stripy pump. We had a fluffy slipper, a trendy trainer, a pair of summer high heels. We had a winter boot. We had some flip flops, flip flop, flip flop. We had the fins for scuba diving or snorkeling. And we had the wet shoes or beach feet that they call them in New Zealand. How many out of 12 did you write on your piece of paper? Let us know who won in your house. Okay, there's one more bonus round. We want you to have a look and try and remember all of these shoes. And we're gonna turn the screen blank and put it back on and one of them will be missing. And it's your job to guess which one it is. Is that all right? Okay, have one last look at all of these different types of shoes and see if you can guess which one is missing when we get back. Here we go, ready? Okay, have a look. What shoe do you think is missing? Have a good look. Well, it's not the welly or the flip fins. Hmm, anybody guess? Okay, if you managed to guess, well done. The answer was a slipper. Well done if you knew it was the slipper that was missing. It was probably Alfie, he loves slippers, definitely would have taken that one. All right, that's the end of the game. Let us know who won in your house. And up next, we're gonna get up and dance and sing with Naomi for the last uh, Armour of God song. All right, here we go.
in Egypt a long time ago, they were very unhappy. They were slaves to the Egyptians and had to work really hard. The Pharaoh worried because he saw that every year there were more and more of these Hebrews. He thought they might rebel against the Egyptians. So he ordered the Hebrew midwives, who helped the Hebrew mothers while they were giving birth, to kill all the Hebrew baby boys. Miriam lived with her parents and older brother Aaron in the land of Egypt. Her people were Hebrew slaves. She'd heard about the new laws of the pharaoh. She was scared. She knew her mother was going to have a baby soon. When the baby boy was born, Miriam and her family tried to keep the baby's arrival a secret. Aaron and Miriam would watch the road, and if there were any soldiers, they would begin to sing and play loudly so the soldiers would not be able to hear the baby. Miriam would watch for the soldiers while her mother took the baby to the river for a bath. As the baby grew, Miriam and her mother knew they could not keep him hidden much longer. So her mother devised a daring plan. They made a basket to hold the baby and hid the baby and the basket in the tall grasses in the river. It was Miriam's job to watch her baby brother. It was very hot and Miriam was really scared. She wasn't sure what was going to happen. Suddenly, one of the Egyptian princesses came out to the riverside to bathe. She heard the tiny cries coming from the basket and sent one of her attendants to investigate. Miriam held her breath, but the princess smiled at the baby and gave him a cuddle. He can live with me and I will call him Moses as I drew him out of the water, she exclaimed. Miriam took a deep breath. Now she needed to be brave. She stepped forward and greeted the princess. She told the princess that she knew of someone who could help her by looking after the baby while he was still so young. The princess asked her to fetch this person. And do you know who Miriam went to get? That's right, the baby's mother. So the baby stayed with Miriam and her family until he was old enough to go and live in the palace with the princess. In these Old Testament stories, it's amazing to see God at work. Moses' life was saved by an Egyptian princess and his mother was able to look after him while he was still small. Moses would go on to be the person who led the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt. Do you remember him from our last series, Heroes of Faith? Miriam had an important part to play in this story. She had to be ready to step out and talk to the princess. That would have been a little scary, especially for a Hebrew, but she was brave and she did it and she took that step. Shoes were really important to Roman soldiers any soldiers in fact, but it showed they were ready to move. Now I like having bare feet, but when I'm leaving the house, I'll put my shoes on. It shows I'm ready to leave. With shoes on my feet, I can pretty much go anywhere I like. So when it talks about shoes in Ephesians, it tells us to fit our feet with readiness. That sounds a bit strange but we need to be ready to announce the good news. We need to be ready to tell other people 
about the good news of Jesus, that he loved us and he died for us and he took the punishment for our sins. And most importantly, that he rose again. And that means we can be friends with God. This is some pretty good news and we need to be ready to share it. So get those shoes on and get ready to share. And now let's race on over to Debbie and Ruth for the memory verse. Hi guys, Ruth here. Today's memory verse comes from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 15 and it goes like this. Four shoes put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. Should we say it one more time? Ephesians 6 15. Four shoes put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. Now, for a little bit of a fun game, what we're going to do is keep the verse up like this for 10 seconds so that you can try and remember all the words written in orange. And then after the 10 seconds are up, I'm going to take it away so that you need to try and guess what they are. Okay, 10 seconds begin now. Okay guys, 10 seconds are up. Now we're going to try and guess what the words are. Okay, four, they're high heels. What are they? Shoes. Shoes, well done if you got that correct. Put on the, a dove sign that was also like this. Peace. Peace, that comes from the, it has good advice in it. The good news. Well done, the good news. That was a bit of a tricky one. So that you will be, it is overflowing, cups overflowing it is. Fully. Fully prepared. And today's memory verse comes from Ephesians 6, 15. Well done, Ephesians 6, 15. Should we say it one more time together? Four shoes put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. Where does it come from again? Ephesians 6, 15. Well done, guys. Now prepare to sing and dance along with Naomi. Bye. Your love is bigger than my fear You hold me close when the storm appears You are with me to the end Your strength will rise in me again You awaken the song You are faithful all night long So I sing from the rooftop you always fight for me You're the fortress that I run to The rock beneath my feet And I will not be shaken I will not be moved When all around is changing I will trust in you Beneath my feet and I will not be shaken No, 
Hi guys, this week we are making the shoes of peace. What you would need, a bit of cardboard, a pair of your shoes, a stapler, scissors, coloured card, a pencil and maybe some like crafty bits if you want to decorate it afterwards. So the first step is to take your shoes, put them on the cardboard and trace them using the pencil. The next step is to then cut them out with scissors. So these are what the cutout should look like of your shoes. The next step is if you want to add colour to the base of it you could get a bit of card or coloured paper and trace stick it and trace around it so that will be your coloured bit if you want to have straps as usually sandals have those nice straps you could cut some thin bits of paper and either side sellotape them together like so Here's a pair I made earlier. Also at the end, if you want to decorate them, you can maybe decorate it with glitter, like ribbon, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, these are what the shoes should look like. I hope you've enjoyed our Armour of God series. This is my Armour of God. Now let's hand over to Temi for active prayer. I'm out because I need to go and deliver this parcel, which I'm going to pretend it's the um, gospel of peace, the gospel of blessings from God. Um, but for me to go out and do this, I had to be ready. I had to make sure I am dressed and with even with me being dressed with my helmet of salvation, with my sword of um, the spirit, with my... Um, breastplate of righteousness and the shield of faith I couldn't leave my house without my shoes just as the bible said to us that we need to make sure our feet are fitted with the shoes of readiness um, that comes from the from sharing the gospel of peace so we have to be ready to share the gospel to share the word of God to share Jesus with someone and just make sure that we are already just the way God wants us to be with the full armor so we're gonna pray let us pray one two three four dear Lord thank you for today and for the words we have heard we pray that we would readily fasten our fit to be able to share your gospel of peace with other people grant us the wisdom and knowledge and the understanding of your word that everything we share with people lord they would understand it and they would draw closer unto you help us to share your word with other people help us to um share your gospel with them help us to say the right words 
that everything we say to others father you will be in, in it they would feel your presence in our words oh lord father and we pray that you speak to us and you speak through us in jesus name amen thanks temi and thanks to the rest of the team hasn't this been an amazing series now we can add the shoes of peace to our armor of god shall we go through them all one by one and do the actions? All right, here we go. So, do you remember the first week? That's right, it was the belt of truth. And next up, we learned all about the breastplate of righteousness. After that, we learned about the, that's right, the shield of faith. And after that, do you remember what it was? That's right, it was the helmet of salvation. Do you remember the action? That's right, just like this. Okay, and the week before this one, what did we learn? That's right, it was the sword of the spirit and that was all about God's word. And this week we have the shoes of peace and the action is gonna be marching like this. Shoes of peace. Well done everybody if you've been watching this season. Hasn't it been amazing? Okay, and if you want to find out a bit more about the Shoes of Peace this week, you can check out our activity sheet on the website. Here it is, and it's got loads of information for you, including our memory verse for this week. Now, this week hasn't got a secret symbol, but the other four weeks have. Do you remember what they are? Well, next season we've got some exciting news for you we are launching our summer series and here's the team giving you a sneak preview of what it might be what's this dad there's another parcel for you oh thank you I wonder what it could be. What's this? What? For me? What's that? I don't know what that is. Mum, here's an envelope. Yeah. What is this? That's a question mark. What it can be? No. Mm. Have any idea? No. Can anyone help us out? I don't know what it is. Did you recognise those symbols that the team were opening from the envelopes? That's right, they were our secret symbols this series, but they also have another meaning. Did you know that the heart means God loves me? The X means I've messed up. The cross means Jesus has died for me. And the question mark well, that's where we get to decide to live for God. And we are launching our new summer series today. It's all for you over the summer holidays and they're going to be short 10 minute videos released on YouTube every Sunday going through these four symbols. There'll be messy challenges, there'll be songs, there'll be the same awesome team and together we're going to learn all about these four points. How cool is that? And then in September, we'll be back to normal, back to online church platform and we're going to start a new series. And if you have any ideas of what you want it to be, get your parents or carers to fill out the survey online. So we'll look forward to seeing you next week on YouTube for our first summer series where we'll be looking at the heart for God loves me. And before we go, shall we all pray together before we sing with Naomi? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. 
Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this awesome Small Nations community. Thank you that we can be together and learn all about you, about heroes of faith and the armour of God. Lord, will you help us all to have an amazing summer holiday and enjoy the summer series with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright guys, well let's get up and dance and sing with Naomi and we'll see you all next week for the summer series. Bye! Stand in the dark I know I'm in your heart When I'm hurt and need a friend I know you're with me till the end Cause if I ever start to doubt it's just one thing I need to shout That you are good, 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 good And you love me You are good You are good, 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 and you love me. Well, you are good, good, good. Yes, it's true. Good, strong, loving, kind, like the love I always find. Hope, help, hero, king, stronger than anything. Wise, bright, perfect, side, closest friend, highest, high, the first, last, middle, in your size. I cannot comprehend. Best of all, you set me free when on the cross you died for me. You're everything in life to me, and this is what I say. Just 
spirit to move I'm watching, waiting and listening Can't wait to see what you do You're the maker of the heavens and the earth You're with me every single day You know what I need before I even ask You can take the pain away There's no need to be afraid Come and fill me up again And I pray